<laughs> All right, so <clears throat> this is uh, this is Dylan Pagillo, and uh, we're gonna do some some new material. Uh, this is two thirds of a, I guess you'd say a hip hop <laughs> Um So anyway, yeah, <clears throat> let's talk. Beautiful men and women out there. Or both at the same time. On a scale of one through ten, she enters the room with that draft of air of class. Yes, all heads turn drooling, but they're quite ashamed to do it. So they sneak views when she ain't looking like a student, hoping to clue in on answers during a new quiz. Even the booze and barflies are removing their toothpicks, feeling foolish they have tattoos, wishing they'd shave, thinking they'd do it if they knew this beautiful glimpse would be included in their afternoon splits, and few pimps could ruin this with lewdness. She'd refuse if they'd give her dinner, jewels, or cute gifts. She introduces herself as Lucille, which seems too fit. All I do is stare too, since she's too fit. She's where the falcons roost, and I've got a rat's nest do, and she's my alkanoos bliss. Blessing my eyes with her symphony, simply subduing my memory, motor skills, and tongue to a realm that's useless, proving that a man's noodle is futile when it's glued to and fused with a woman's intrusions. In the noodle, I gotta order food quick. Whenever we barter dialogue, the table cloth is soothing. It's the perfect point to peruse and after fumble. And most menu bits of my choosing, I'm ruthlessly ruthless. Whenever she's cruising through the room, and I know I'm misconstruing my true tints with these doofus move hints, but she's an infallible, smooth, slick catalog, cool click, caviar cruise chick. I'm a ratty dog dude with a fast food job who quit to rap without hooks and a passion for books pick. Out of goodwill for a paper hat, paperback book, and with a glance that is too cringe, a stance that is too crimped, and pants that are way too. <laughs> I don't, I'm not stupid, but I don't leave her the usual shit. It's a good tip, a higher one. Hopeful, though I know those smiles are her true trick, the kind that she get hired on. And I keep it reminding myself that uh, if I saw her at a work, she'd shine me one of those, or but she'd never write me one of these or leave a huge tip. And I am inspired by the thought that maybe I am wrong in my assuming. Of a pure and stranger mold, down to earth from a fable doll, out of this world and unattainable. I'm perturbed she slays me so, of course my nerves nearly made my brain explode when I arrived onto the table, stroked on the credit card, received on display, that I keep almost framed, are several digits and letters that peeked up arraigned at my weak puzzled face, like how's it this beast does equate with her these upper rates? It said, we should meet up someday in pink bubbled shapes. So how's it this beast does equate with her league's upper rates? It would seem somewhat strange, but we'd come to date. Turns out she loves my tastes. On the one cruise that she'd come to take, she turned green colored shades upon eating a bunch of eggs from one sea couple's mate. She heaped up her plate. On the privacy of her place, often she fumbles grace. And as these results replay, it's not a need to be brave. We've all features we hate. Who are we to deface the scenes of their plays, judging each other based on leisurely vague, esteem smothered claims? We can't see what they make, so live at ease unafraid. Maybe the pieces that they often seek to engage are the pieces we save. seek to engage are the pieces we say live at ease and afraid maybe the pieces that they often seek to engage
Visibly soft skin, a shimmering bronze tint Physically strong hints in her glimmering long limbs And her interesting form lips that click in her jaw whenever she's talking Hair wonderful, wavy brush strokes Hung low to her chestnut colored clothes collarbone Those follicles she twists when folly calls Finally flow to her chest What stunning autumnal tumbles of walnut Leave all dumb, awestruck Your old or young jaws hung Her smile was a strong one Shining, showing raw love Weak gray as a New England Eve painting emphasizing fog and sea spray. She waits on her tables at a barroom eatery for decent pay. Ease pain in her back, killed by Advil that she takes at the end of a bleak day. Bleak day of hustling business, busting dishes, livid bosses, bitching bed, staff wars in the kitchen. She keeps cringing, appalled at consistently getting awfully stiffed or guessed just poorly tipping. Who'd have guessed that fortune tipped in her favor when walking in is this modest, timid, Adonis, though unorthodox in appearance. He flawlessly mirrors her young heart's vivid, exotic visions. She hopes that the host will sit in intersection. She feels blessed in his presence and intends to impress him. Her heart beats in applauding rhythm as if to applaud his entrance. She doesn't want the day to fade away and get away with son nothing. So she quests to get his attention and take his breath away with something. You can bet that she's grateful that Lucy's just one letter K away from lucky. <laughs> and our alluring lady is gawking in interest at our boon truly. So before you swoon, won't you croon to depict that afternoon, Lucy? Our alluring lady is gawking in interest at the boon truly. So before you swoon, won't you croon to depict that afternoon, Lucy? With at ease unafraid, maybe the pieces that they often seek to engage are the pieces we say. Live at ease unafraid, maybe the pieces that they often seek to engage are the pieces that we say. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm all one. This is Dylan. I appreciate your attentiveness. Is Rob Rui fantastic or what? <laughs> and everyone who's brought up. I'm loving it. This is a fantastic place, and you've all made it that much better. So, thank you. Thank you. Where's my album?